In this demo, I'm going to update my existing Azure AD application registration using the Azure AD Admin Center and a .NET Core console app to query Microsoft Graph for the user profile photos and get the current user's um, manager's profile details. So this assumes that I've already created the Azure AD app and .NET console app that I created in a previous demo uh, in this module. So I need to make changes to those in order for this to work. So what I'm gonna do is inside of our existing main method that we have here, right after I get the authenticated graph client, I'm gonna add in some code. And what this is going to do is I'm gonna get a reference to the current user's profile photo. Um, so I'm gonna write out the ID, the content type of the photo, the E tag. It's gonna show me information about the photo. But then I can also, oh, let's go through and add that line here. Um, and we can actually get the photo and we can actually save it to disk. We'll do that in just a minute, but let's make sure we're getting a reference to the actual photo uh, first. So what I'll do is I'm going to go do a .NET build and a .NET run. So I'll pass in the username for the current user and the password for the current user. That doesn't look right. Let's try that one more time. So I'll pass in the username and the password. All right, so now you can see that we're actually getting uh, the user's profile photo back. Now this assumes that the current user has a profile photo that has already been set um, on their account. If they didn't, well, we wouldn't see that come back. So now let's uh, actually save the profile photo to our workstation. So what I'm gonna do is under this comment of get the actual photo, I'm gonna paste in some code that's gonna go get a reference to the photo. And you can do that by going to the content endpoint um, on the photo itself. Then I need to be able to save the photo. And this is just working with standard uh, .NET um, uh, file system uh, code here. So what I'm doing, what I'm doing in this code is I'm gonna create a path to the file. So we're just gonna store it uh, as a file called profile photo underscore with the ID of the current user dot JPEG. Um, I'm putting that in the current folder for my project, uh, then getting a reference to the actual file, so creating an instance of it. And then I'm using um, the following code that you see here is just fetching uh, the data from the actual stream that came back from my response, and it's going to stream it into uh, that file on disk. So let's see this run. So what I'll do is I'll again do a .NET build and a .NET run. And what I want you to notice here is notice that there's no JPEG in the root of my project. So I'm going to go log in as with the username and then I pass in their password. It should fetch the photo and save it locally. And sure enough, you do. You see the photo just showed up. And when I select it, I can see the profile photo for the current user. Now, Microsoft Graph can display related users, such as a user's manager, as defined in the organization. So in this next section, I'm going to need to ensure that a user has the manager property set on their Azure AD account. So what I'm going to do is come back over to the browser. Let's go look at all the users in our organization. And I'll go find the current user, Megan. And what I want to see is that for Megan, I want to see that they actually have a manager that's been set specified. And we can see that as Miriam is my manager. If this is not selected, then I can edit uh, the user and come down here and select the user that they should be uh, that you want as their manager. So now I'm going to select uh, or copy the object ID for the current user. That's something I'm going to need uh, when I uh, go to do my work here in just a minute. So let's go ahead and get rid of all this request information. And what I'm going to do to start out is I'm going to define the user that we want to get the information for. So that's going to be var user ID equals and I'll just pass in. Uh, Megan's GUID. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the Megan's manager. So I'm going to do that by running the following code. So I'm looking for the current user, so user ID. I could have gone to the me endpoint with the same effect, but in this case, I'm just going to do it explicitly. I'm looking for their manager and then issuing the request. And what that's then going to do is I'm then going to write out the results of what I uh, found uh, for that manager. So let's go run this code. So now I'm going to do a .NET build and a .NET run. I'm going to have to log in. So I'll put in my username. 
and I'll put in my password. And here we can see that it is fetching. We, we got the user, we got the manager, and then you can see I'm getting the manager's information. I'm displaying the manager's information right here. So we can see that because we got the manager endpoint, and then when we got the results, I got the manager, as you see here is the user's manager, and I'm writing out the ID. I'm converting the user as a user object and getting the display name property for the manager. And then I'm also uh, writing out some other information about the user, like their mail. So in this demo, you saw how I updated the Azure AD application registration and uh, the .NET uh, application, the .NET Core application to um, query Microsoft Graph for user profile photos and get the user's manager.